Hey guys, it's Natural Fish and Airsoft here, and today we are back at this one place. This is the Little Harpeth River. We're going to be doing some fishing. Um, just see what I can catch. Um, again, okay, I don't know what this is. If that's something on my lens. Let me, let me clean my lens. All right, that's a little better. But anyway, right here, that's just my my stuff. Again, I overpack way too much. Today I'm just going to be fishing on a small little spinner reel. Um, but I'm going to see if there are any fish in here. Hopefully it just rained like a couple hours ago. And I'm just going to fish this stretch of the Harpeth and see if I can get anything. So hopefully I can get something for you guys. And it'll be great. Um, besides that, that's it. I can actually see. Oh, I, dude, there are a bunch of fish in here. I already see some little bass and bluegill. Alright, this should be fun. Let's switch over to the GoPro right about now. Alright guys, I know this might be a little overkill. But first, we are just going to be starting off with this little frog right here. Um, so, if I don't get anything within the first couple minutes with this, then I'm going to go ahead and switch over to something else, like a little craw. Alright, so these, fi these, these fish right here, um, what's happening is stuff's dropping out of these trees right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. And it's like a, there are fish, it's like bass, all right here. It's a little pool of bass right here, so I'm going to try to... Oh, you see it? They're, they're, they're trying to attack it. Okay, guys, so I did put this little, um, see what it was. It, it was a net bait, um, kind of crawdad imitation thing on here. Again, sorry, I probably didn't even put it on right, but I'm going to test this out. First cast with it over here. Now, I know there's a bunch of them over here, and they should be able to put this in their mouths. They should be able to fall into their mouths quite easily. Oh, that was a horrible cast. Oh, they just come up to they eat one of them. Yeah, it's too big for them. I know what I need. Oh, I almost caught one actually, I think. Oh, I just put a weight on here, but you know what kind of weight I just put on here? A drop shot weight. And you know what I just realized? Maybe I should be using drop shot here. Maybe maybe that'll be a lot better. Just to use a drop shot. Like just a drop shot shot worm or something. Alright guys, so I did put a Senko on here. It is although it is a pretty decently sized huge Senko. I might I'll just cut it down if I need less. Um, cause I, know, I mean, I know there are big fish in here, so here we go. Alright. I think it's just too big for them. I think this is like way too big for most fish in at least this section right here. Even though I'm fairly certain that there are fish in here that will eat it. Alright, I don't think I was recording that, but that was, and that was such a huge YouTube fail, but I did just catch a bass. Oh, if you could just calm, calm down, boy. Calm down. I'll let you go. Calm down. Oh, you swallowed my bait. My bait is completely gone. No. My bait is gone. It went right off the hook. All right. What did you do? Come on. Get the... There we go. And there's the O-ring. But unless it just felt flopped off. It must have flopped off somewhere when I was reeling them in. But there, there's, there's the bass right there. Yeah, I might have caught that on film, I'm not sure, but here's the bass, <laughs> woohoo. I'm gonna go ahead, get a nice picture of them, um, and then put them back in the water here in a second. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go get a picture of them and put them back in the water. All right, guys, we're gonna get the release on this guy. He's been out of the water for about a minute, so let's just try to get this release. All right, guys, so as you guys just saw there, I did manage to catch at least one fish today, so it's not a complete loss. So this is definitely going to be made into a video. Although I did lose the worm itself. The worm itself got lost. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Not even kidding. It's right here. So it just, when I was just reeling them in, it got discombobulated. But I'm not sure if this is going to get, if, my, if I manage to capture it on my GoPro. Because, I don't know. I, I don't know if I had it off or not. But this is... I'm going to keep keep on fishing this right here, and hopefully we can get a couple other ones. All right, I got myself situated. Um, I think what it is is just the fish over there were too small. Um, so there was this one fish over here, which I'm guessing he's going back into his little hiding spot right now. Um, I dropped it right in front of him, and he kind of he went for it on the drop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot right into this pool right here and see if I can get anything. Yeah, I completely butchered that last landing of that fish because, like, it was, it was, just, it was just abysmal. I mean, this is huge kind of like brush pile, brush pile right here, where fish might potentially be. Um, and it's a deeper kind of pool. So that's why I'm fishing this area. And there's some other spots I know too. So as soon as I get finished 
fishing these couple areas over here. I'm going to move all my stuff and go see if there's anything else anywhere else. Also, another thing real quick is this rod is a smaller rod. It's not necessarily an ultralight per se, but it's like like the step up from an ultralight. So whenever I catch a fish on here, it feels like it's so much bigger than it actually is. I'm going to test this brush pile right here. So this spot right here looks a lot deeper than the last time I was here. Um, all, I, all I've done is gone from that side of the thing to this side. And I'm doing this in Crocs, guys, so it's not the best thing, you know, not the most stable of shoes. Like, really the, oh, dude, there's a bass right in front of me. There's a bass right there. I don't know if you can see him or not. I'm gonna drop this right in front of him. Alright. No, 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 no. He's starting some way. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Drop it. Come on, go down. Dude, he, he just took it. He just took it. Dude, I called it. I called it. I called it. I called it. I called that. I called that. Yes, I called it. No, 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 no. No, you're not getting away, boy. Dude, the line broke. I called it. I called it. Yes, I did it. Bass number two of the day. Dude. I called it, I saw him right there, and I was like, dude, he's right there, I gotta get him. And I got him. Now, let me get him unhooked here real quick. All right. Put that hook right down there. Yeah, I called that so much. Bass number two of the day, beautiful bass. I'm gonna go ahead and get, just release him right back in. I'm not gonna do any fancy stuff. Got my backpack on. Oh. Again, my Senko fell into the to the river somewhere, but we're gonna get just a release on it. Yeah, Senkos work great for little little bass when you just can't when you just don't know what to throw. Just throw a Senko. All right, here we go. There he goes. Oh, right back down to his thing. Where is he going? He's just going like he's just going like right over there. All right, guys, and we're right back to where we were. <laughs> I'm gonna fish this spot a couple more times. See if there are any of them hanging around over here. See, from what I've noticed is that they're not really that aggressive, at least right now. At least, you know, from what I've been seeing, they're not really aggressive right now. Like, I literally have to drop it right in front of their faces in order for them to go for it. And see if there's any other one of them here on the banks. I feel, I feel something. What? It's gone. My Senko's just completely gone. <sighs> well, I have to put a new Senko on here. I'm going to try another color just to see. Guys, battery has been changed from a GoPro. New Senko on here by Strike King. Beautiful colors. I wonder if it'll work. And I'm ready to go. And with the smaller fish, it's not that I don't have the equipment to catch them with. I have little um, little baits for them in my bag right now. And I have the proper hooks, actually. It's just that I'm going for the big ones today. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish the rest of this stretch of river. And then I'm going to go back and try to catch some of the smaller ones back in that pool. Because that's where they're all stockpiled right now. But that's a good sign. That's a good sign that there's a healthy population of young bass in here. But there should also be a healthy population of older bass. That's why it's so important to catch and release. Like, I think, in, at least to me, I'm not going to go all, oh, I know everything about fishing. But one of the keys to fishing is not just randomly throwing your pole out, but strategically throwing your pole out. Not literally throwing your pole, but throwing your line out. You know what I mean? St make strategic casts. Almost, oh, there's, there's a little fish right here. It's like a little, it's like a red fish. I'm not going to cast out, it's too small. But like, make educated guesses on where the fish would be. Or educated decisions. Not necessarily guesses. I mean, yeah, it can be get. Well, actually, yeah, guesses. Because you think, hmm, it's a deeper pool. Well, I don't see anyone here now, but I'm just going to cast right in the middle. Actually, this isn't actually that deep, but, like, I don't see anyone here, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to look at the banks. The banks are another place they like to hang around, because that's, like, near the where the trees are, I think. That's where the bugs fall down. Um, that's where a lot of crawdads hang out. They hang out everywhere, really, but especially near the banks. Um, there's usually shade there. Um, they can see when danger's coming, too. I literally just walked out of the bushes from where I was at. I know exactly why I wasn't catching anything, just because this is a different spot. So what happened is, must have been happening, is over the past, like, six months, 
there must have been a lot of rain and it just made it or i don't know what happened but it made everything deeper this is the spot i was talking about yeah this is exactly the spot and yeah there's a lot of people that have been going down in here so that's how i know it's the spot all right this is the spot where there's usually fish let it fall all right i'll pull it up oh got one i got one I got one, got one. No, he got off. No, I felt it. Did you not see that? Oh, he got off. All right, rinse and repeat, boys. Right back in there. That fell a little short. All right, here we go. One missed. That's one missed for today. Got him, got him. No, no, okay, no, I saw him, I saw him. That was a tiny little fish. That thing was tiny. That's why it was. There, there's just a tiny fish there. There's Okay guys, so I'm just switching out the Senkos, and there is a small difference between them. I think the main difference being that I think the Strike King is just like maybe half an inch longer, and it's a little thicker. This one is just a little thinner, and that's probably why it kept on sl slipping off the um, O-ring. Oh, I'm getting bit. Oh, no, no, no. I That was a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite. I overreact when I get bit. When I get hit, so I get, I just overreact. No, 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 no! I lost it. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to put it around the actual, um, the actual thing now, because it, it keeps on falling off whenever I get hit. That was a hit. I can tell you that 100%. That was a hit. You know, I don't know. Maybe the the smaller, the bigger fish out of here just moved out of the area. Maybe they're just not here anymore. Guys, so I took a little break just for a second to get everything situated. Um, and I would give you guys a time check, but I don't know what, I don't have a watch or anything on me. So that's the first cast right there with the crawdad. Oh my gosh, it's sinking considerably slow. I will have to put a weight on it. All right, guys, my battery is actually gonna die soon. So my, I think my battery will die in the middle of recording. So I'm gonna run this battery out. My other battery I have, has only like one bar left, so I'm gonna try to record very sparingly. Um, so yeah, we'll just see what happens. Okay, I'm back to this spot. One thing that I did forget though, was that I do have my other camera, which I can set up. I did bring a tripod for it, um, but I just cast right here because I just saw something strike. So hopefully it'll strike at my crawdad. I know there are fish here. There's gotta be at least a couple. So I just saw one um, strike over here. And there's, there's, I know there's some fish down there. I saw some guys over there, so hopefully they won't be there for too long. They weren't fishing, they were just playing around, which, you know, this is a public place, do whatever you want. Obviously legal and morally correct, but, you know, I'm not gonna bother them for now. And just for a quick recap, for you, those of you guys that don't know how I fish this, oh, that was a great cast, is the way I fish it is I let it sink to the bottom, and I go, I usually go tug, tug, wait, Tug, toe. Oh, we'll let it wait for a second. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. He jumped, he just jumped. Did you see that? Oh, dude, my, my fit feels so huge, dude. There we go. There we go, just as I, I was explaining. No, and my, my line broke, my line broke. No, fishy, fishy, fishy. Mr. Bassy. There we go, or Mrs. Bassy. There we go, swallowed that thing. I told you guys, that's how they like it around here. Oh, this, this bass stinks. Okay, I might, I'm gonna need, how, okay, there we go. I, I know how they got in there. Come on, this thing is in there like real, real tight. All right, I might, I might need to do some, wait. Okay, I might need to do some surgery, some tactical bass surgery. Yeah, all right, bring in the strings. Tactical strings. Ow! I wonder if this is the same bass I caught before. That would be awesome if it was. All right. We have a code red. We need to just calm down here. Remember our training and practice. I will definitely not be taking a picture with him. I don't have time. Well, maybe I will. If I can get him back in the water, that is. All right. Because what I'm doing now is I'm just getting them together and putting this, this around him so I can um, so I can put them back in the water real quick. I don't even know if this is the right way to do it. Right. We're gonna, 
Make sure you're swimming. All right, you're breathing. All right, you're breathing. Although that's not cool. All right, all right. This isn't the safest way to do it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put my backpack right here. Dude, there's a dead. There's the back of a dead fish right here, and this is fresh too. Wow. All right. Anyway, we're just gonna tie this thing like around here real quick. Ooh. This is for the good of the fish. All right, now, now that I have this all situated, I can spend a little bit more time trying to get that thing out. Also, I'm gonna switch over to my main camera in three, two, one. All right, guys, so I know I'm a little close, far away, whatever. I am going to try to save, oh, try to save this fish real quick. We got him out. All right, guys, we got him out. Um, the only other thing I would say is when you're in a situation like this, be very careful. I don't know if you, I, I mean, in focus, am I? Yeah, be very careful um, when you're taking the string out, not to get it caught up in its gills and tear it up. Nice bass, I think this is one of the biggest ones. Nice little bass. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, here we go. Nice little release. Make sure he has enough air to breathe. Should be fine. There he goes. Yep, he's fine. All right, guys. So I think we might have scared him out of this area just for right now. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh, words. Can I say them? No. I'm gonna go ahead and move over there since everyone's gone and it's already starting to get dark and I'm not sure what time we have left. Um, like what our time check is. So. Um, let's go. All right, guys, we are at the spot now. Um, if, it's, if there is one spot that I'm going to catch a bunch of them, if any, it's here. So here we go. First pass in this spot again. Hopefully they're still here. So here we go. Got him. I saw it coming. Nice little bass. Am I even in frame? Did you get that in frame? I hope you got that in frame. Anyway, I got a bass. I don't, I think I need to point the camera a little bit that way. Voice crack. There. Nice little bass. Come on, focus on it. I don't know. Nice little bass. Hooked almost perfectly. We're going to go ahead and release it over here in this section just so I don't disrupt the bass that are over there. So, here we go. We're just going to go ahead and throw this guy in. Alright fam, we are Gucci. It is 7.30, if it'll focus on it. It's, it's 7.30, just take my word. It's 7.30. Um, got about 30 minutes left to fish, so I'll see if I can get maybe one more. Um, it's been a great day of fishing, if, you, if I haven't told you guys yet. I don't know how this is going to be edited, but it's been a great day of fishing, so... Hopefully we can maybe get one more to top off the day. That last one I got here was great, too, so we'll see. Alright guys, thank you for watching this vlog so much. I'm going to make it short and simple because the battery is about to die. Um, so pretty much we saw some good bass, four bass, I'm so thankful for them. Um, I wasn't able to catch as many as I would, like as all of them, like the small ones in here, I only got to get one. Um, they were trolling me, or hitting me hard, but I think we did a pretty good job today. So I'm just going to right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, click on the annotations for more videos that I've done. This is National Fish and Airsoft. Remember, to keep on fishing.